Hi, Orange Girl here, and I have another scrapbooking process video for you. I am using a bunch of Shimmers paints today. If you do purchase from Shimmers paints, go ahead and leave my name in the comments, and you'll get a little something special in your order. Also, I'm going to be using items from the most recent release from Colorcast Designs. So I don't know if you know this or not, but Shimmers Paints recently came out with some stamps. And so I am going to use these stamps as most of my embellishments on my layout. So what I started with is I'm just using some black stays on ink and I picked one of the flowers that I could paint and some of the leaves that I could also paint. And once I stamped them out, and I end up doing a lot more of these, and then my idea will be to fussy cut them out. So I am using um, Berry Hot, it's a creamies, and I am just going to, because I am gonna fussy cut these out, I'm not really that worried about staying in the lines. And I'm just going to go ahead and put a little bit of the paint right onto and over and around, make sure I saturate it pretty well. Um, that is another creamies product called my Clementine. And then another Creamies, Luck of the Irish for the green. And so the Creamies products, you have to uh, put a little bit of water in. They're dry when they come in the mail. And you put a little bit of water in them, which I had already done here prior to starting the video. You put a little bit of water in, and it, the longer you let it soak, the longer, the more, um, more color you're going to get. Okay? So now what I'm doing, I happen to be using my water brush. You could use a regular brush for this, but I wanted to be able to add a little bit more water and do some blending. So I'm t coming back in with a second color. This is a, this is a cream based product also called Red Necking. And so I'm just adding a little bit of um, red to make that pink um, have some darker areas and have a little bit more dimension. And so now I'm coming in with a colorings product called Peachy Keen, and I'm going to add to that orange and make that orange have some dimension as well. I come in with a Vibes um, spray spritz that's um, uh, called Froget Me Not. <laughs> I love the names of these, don't you? And I add that in to the leaves as well. And then I'll just cut them out and use them on my layout. I'm going to be really honest with you and what I'm doing here, um, my layout is already done. So I redid this for the camera because um, I, <laughs> I have been spending a lot of time at the hospital lately. My father has been ill. We've had um, a bunch of different, well, in March there were, in, in my family, there were um, two two surgeries and um, my dad was taken to the hospital three times twice he stayed twice by ambulance and so um, he is still in the in the hospital as I as I am creating this so I actually took these products and stamps all this all this stuff that you see here I took to the hospital and while I was waiting um, for a surgery to be complete um, I was uh, painting so <laughs> I just took it into to the lobby, and that's part of the reason I'm using the water brush. It's just so easy. So when you look at this, you can see I'm trying to show you here the shimmer that is on this. They're just gorgeous. The stamps are beautiful, and then painting them in is so much fun. All right, so I apologize um, for this. This whole video I did, um, it did not take me very long, but unfortunately there's um, something on my lens, and so it is a little foggy. So... I hope if you are new to my channel that you'll watch some of my other videos so that you know that typically I don't have um, this poor quality of a video. So so what I have here is I have a photograph of um, some pretty beautiful flowers that um, were taken on my vacation and um, I just wanted to use that um, color cast piece that says beautiful things and it's an orange color it almost looks red on the video but it, it really is more of an orange color and I just wanted to add a bunch of flowers around it and that is almost all I do um, I do add a few other things I add a few more um, bits from the confetti piece um, uh, confetti from the um, excuse me uh, March was it March release um, yes, I believe that was in the March release. The confetti and beautiful things were in the March release from Colorcast Designs. 
Um, and so those are still available. Last I looked, they were still available on the website. And so you'll see me use um, some of the confetti, confetti pieces for that. And then I sprinkled a bunch of the leaves around just kind of as in other embellishment um, rather than attaching them to flowers because I just like the way that looks. And so if you're, if you're someone that watches me often, you know that I go ahead and I lay everything down and then I glue things down. And so what you're going to see me do next here is just take everything apart and glue everything down and then add a few little bits and pieces in the end, um, some more shimmers, um, same colors. There, there you come. <laughs> um, <clears throat> some more shimmers products. And so I'm going to go ahead and glue these down. Um, what I did, wh what you saw me do right there was I went ahead and I added a little bit more dimension to the flower by just wrinkling it up a little bit. And then I'm just putting a dot of glue in the middle. Um, it's enough to hold it. The glue is strong. Um, and then, um, but it also, once it dries, it's pretty strong. And then it also gives it still some room to kind of come up and give a little depth. So I decided, I made the decision to um, go ahead. Sometimes I let the embellishment or whatever it is go over onto the border of my layout, um, but I decided to go ahead and cut it off right at the border. So you can see that I did that with those flowers. And now I'm just gonna start gluing everything down and that's really all I'm doing. So. Um, so my videos, I will tell you, um, I will do videos as I can. Um, everyone is still, things are pretty still hectic around these parts. Um, I were making, having to make some decisions about uh, whether dad can come straight home from the hospital or if he needs to go to some sort of assisted um, skilled care, nursing home type place, uh, which makes us sad because that's not what we want. It's kind of not a good fit for dad usually. Um, so we're, we're kind of in <laughs> crisis a lot in our house right now. I know, like my mom always has said, this too shall pass and we will move on to a new chapter. Um, and this will be fine. But for right now, things are pretty hectic. So my videos, I'm, I apologize. I haven't been as um, good about getting my videos um uploaded and and so on and I haven't frankly I haven't really been creating as much so um, <clears throat> uh, I promise I they they I have a few things in my queue here that I am wanting to make and so I will do my best to make those videos um, as well sometimes if I have to create in another location that I might not have a video so um, follow me on Instagram as well but my videos will still be coming so I don't want you to think that um, it's not happening it's just um, gonna be they might not be weekly or twice a week like they have been more recently so okie dokie but then I'll get back up to that as soon as this little moment in our lives passes um, and that is about all I did for this layout except um, I love that beautiful pieces um, piece right there. I Beautiful things, I'm sorry, is a beautiful piece. There we go. So the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take the two um, color, the colorings and the vibes, the two mists that I used, and I'm going to sprinkle um, those, uh, some color across the page, just some splatters. And then I do add, because the stamps are in black, I do add some um, black splatters to it as well, um, but very few. You'll see me add like two or three little dots here and there in black, and then that's about it. I really enjoyed making this layout. It was really fun to work with the new stamps and to get to paint them. It was wonderful to be able to do that anywhere I was, um, whether it would be in a hospital room or waiting in the waiting room. And it was also uh, great to be able to um, use um, art as a way to kind of get away from some of the other stuff that's going on <laughs> in my life. So here come the close-ups that you can see so much better because there's not fog on them. I apologize for that video quality. Thank you so much for stopping by. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more because there will be more coming. Um, check out Shimmers products and Colorcast designs, and um, I will see you again very soon in the next video.